And I took these pictures right here. This was when we went to um, Tzatziki's, which this is just outside of Tzatziki's, which I have a story for that, by the way. And I will tell that story. And then there was this one right here, which is, again, very over edited. The leaves were not this green. His shirt was not this pink. His skin is not this saturated. This is very, very over edited. I think the gold is on this watch is actually precise. I think that's on point. I think that's exactly what it looked like in person. Um, but like you could see, I shifted the hue to make it a lot more pink because it's pink skies. And then pink with this yellow, with this orangish, this like deep saturated orange, I oversaturated the fuck out of this. There's a lot of pink right here. And then as you can see, this is completely unsaturated, which it's kind of obvious to tell. This is one layer and then this is another layer. <laughs> it's obvious when you look back at it, but it's like at the time I thought this was awesome. I thought this was a good edit. And you know, I still think it's a pretty, mm, the leaves suck, but I think this is an okay edit. This picture was taken right outside Tzatziki's. I really, this is such a photogenic car, much more than like all of its contemporaries, even like the Defender, uh, the, the Bronco, the Jeep, oh, like it's much, much more photogenic than all of these cars. I don't know what it is about it. The problem here is I pushed for too much pink. I should have tinted it to more green on, on him because his face is, this is not, a, a, this is not even a real skin tone. This skin tone has never existed in a human being in the history of human beings ever. Let me tell this story, okay? I was in Alabama with my cousin. Her name is Shifa and she went to like this private school. A lot of rich people go there. Naturally, she had a lot of rich friends. Like she, I dropped her off to her friend's house. Her name is like Temple or whatever. They live in this like crazy big house and all stuff. A lot of, a lot of rich people there, right? One time, her, one, of her, one of her friends come over and it's like, or it's like two of her friends come over. It's like Charlie and Margo. Charlie and Margot Richards, that's who they were. I believe right now they'd all be like 17 years old. And uh, also this girl Maggie came through who's like their older sister, Maggie Richards. And uh, she was like around my age looking kinda. Um, and she only came to like drop them off and then she left. And like Shifa and Margot and Charlie went and like hung out and did their thing, right? I was with them for a bit and then it was like whatever. But uh, I, they were telling me, they were telling me like, our dad owns this like restaurant chain, and he's doing all this stuff. And he started, um, he basically started like this whole like franchise. I don't know if it's a franchise. I don't know if you can franchise it, but they basically started a chain of restaurants. And I remember like, oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. Uh, a couple years later, I'm with Sham at this restaurant and he's like, oh, have you guys tried this place? They got like, they got a pretty good like fish thing here and all this stuff, Mediterranean kind of place. And I'm like, this place is so familiar. This, this name is so familiar. That was the place in Atlanta, Tzatziki's. That's what it is. That's, they own it. They're literally the owners of Tzatziki's. I met the owners of Tzatziki's daughters. Yeah, Keith Richards. They literally own the place. Like they, they or they own the whole, the, or the whole thing, the whole thing. And it's like a, a huge thing now. Look at this, number of locations, 90. Keith and Amy Richards, Birmingham, Alabama. Yep, that's where they live, Birmingham, Alabama. Revenue, 28 mil in 2014. If I go right here, if I look up like, um, let me see if I can find on, it's spelled Margo the French way. So M-A-R-G-A-U-X, I believe. I think that's her. Wait, that's them, that's them. I recognize them actually. That's Margo and Charlie, I believe. And that's Maggie. I can't tell which one's Margo and which one's Charlie. I don't even remember if her name is Charlie actually. But I remember Margot because it's the Margaux spelling. But yeah, that's them for sure. That's crazy. What are the odds that I end up going to that restaurant? It was totally unintentional. In the situation that we were in, it was it was going to be like, Sean would buy our food, right? And we want to we want to make sure that we're not being freeloaders. So I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm I'm not hungry, even though like I was, and uh, I didn't want to buy food over there. I didn't want to spend the money because it seemed like an expensive place. Mediterranean food always tends to be a bit more expensive than like, uh, you know, normal fast food or whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm good. Because I don't want Sean to pay for me. I don't want to seem like a freeloader, you know? Even though I, I, he wouldn't have minded. He offered, he offered to buy his food like twice while we were there. But let's see what they got. Yeah, I think this is what he got. 